Hey guys, so I've got uh, a, a DEFI uh, pressure gauge set up here. This is a universal pressure gauge. Um, you can essentially use it for you know oil pressure, water pressure, whatever. It goes it's uh, goes from zero to 140 psi. And what I've done is um, I've kind of plumbed this thing up to my air compressor because uh, I'm trying to I want to get a better idea about exactly like how this sender itself works and sort of like, um, you know, if I needed to replace it or whatever, um, I see a lot of specs about, you know, replacement senders um, that I guess aren't, you know, the DEFI brand sensors, but um, other sensors that are made for the same application. And, you know, they all specify like a voltage range that they work through and a pressure range that they work through. And um, I really couldn't find anything online to tell me you know, exactly what was what was being used. So what I did was I set this up, you know, um, with my voltmeter. Everything's turned off right now. I've, you know, I've got the gauge uh, wired up to my power supply, 12 volt power supply. But um, there's three wires on these senders, and um, you know it's easier to see here. But there's a, a red, a white, and a black, and you know the DEFI sender you know, connects to sort of like an intermediate wire here. And then on the back of the gauge itself, um, there's the red, the white, and the black come into the this red connector here. So the red wire, which is all the way to the left, um, I just probing around with my meter, it turns out that that's like a five volt reference voltage that comes out of the back of the meter. Um, and then black is just ground, and then white is coming back from the sender. So that reads, um, you know, uh, voltage to, you know, the voltage ends up driving, driving the needle itself. So, so let's see, we'll just, I'm going to flip on the power supply here. That's kind of the startup for the meter. So you can see, you know, there's no pressure right now. Um, and you know, no, no pressure on the sender itself. And I'm reading, you know, 4.4 volts DC, um, across that you know, between the red five volt reference and the white uh, sender output. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to add some pressure so you can kind of, we can kind of see at the same time um, what shows pressure wise and what happens to the voltage. So you can see like as I, as I raise the pressure, the voltage drops. So that probably just means that like, you know, resistance is increasing, and I can really only get to just about under 120 here with with my, you know, with my current compressor, um, which turns out to be like 1.3 volts. Yeah, so it looks like, let's see if I can, I don't know how, how much control I can have here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to control it with this with this tire inflator, but oh, I was trying to get it, you know, an even number like 100 or something seems to be like 1.7 volts, somewhere around there. Um, let's see, let's try and hit 50. Looks like 50 is somewhere 3.2 volts, 3 volts, 3.2, right in there, 3.17. And then, you know, sitting at zero uh, is just a, seems to be a nice solid 4.4 volts. So there you go. Um, if you're looking to replace the sender and you don't necessarily um, care to, to, you know, pick up the exact um, DEFI brand sensor, um, you just need something that's going to work within this volt range and obviously within, within the pressure range here. So, so that's it.